Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name's Chad and what you just watched is something of a, of a love letter to one of my all time favorite cars, the Ford Mustang. Ford basically invented the pony car class with the introduction of the Mustang way back in the 60s. Chevy and the Camaro, Dodge and the Challenger, hell, even Toyota with the Supra have all tried to follow suit. They just couldn't match what is the original. And yes, the Supra was originally designed to be a pony car to compete with the Mustang. The Mustang is one of the most iconic American cars that has ever existed or pretty much will exist. For the money, it's almost impossible to match what a Mustang can provide. You can buy a Mustang today with a five liter V8 chucking out 460 horsepower, manual transmission, rear wheel drive, and you can do it for 40, $45,000, that is a hell of a lot of car for not a lot of money. Hell, I love the Mustang so much, I love it so much that just over a year ago, well, I bought one. I have a 2015 Ford Mustang GT with the performance and premium packages in it, and being me, I, I went about modifying it. So we got headers, a new intake manifold, 500 horsepower at the crank, and a sound. <laughs> If you don't like this sound, then you're on the wrong, well, maybe you're on the right video, more on that in a second. All that being said, it is still 2021, and with each passing day, it seems like another auto manufacturer is saying they're gonna be 100% electric by 2030, 2035. That's no internal combustion engines in brand new cars starting in the 2030. Heck, even Ford now has the Mustang Mach-E. Now, we're not here to talk about whether or not the Mach-E deserves to be called the Mustang. I think it's pretty sacrilegious to call a crossover a Mustang, but in any rate, it does show the trend in the auto industry. So with such a monumental shift in the industry, it should really come as no surprise that the glorious roar, howl, thunderous noise of a Mustang V8 is soon gonna be replaced by the dull hum of an electric motor. These reports are saying that by 2028, every single Mustang will be an electric vehicle. What really caught us off guard was the timing of everything, and that is 2028. As of the recording of this video, Ford has yet to confirm when the Mustang is going all EV, and I use the word when because there's no denying the industry is shifting to an all-electric future, and that's going to include the Mustang. Now, will it be in 2028? Well, if you look at Ford's history, their next chassis, their next generation of Mustang is slated to come out around 2022-2023. Ford typically likes to have a seven to eight year model run with their generations of Mustangs, so that kind of pushes an all-EV Mustang into 2030-2031, which pretty much falls in line with a lot of other manufacturers on the all-EV future. Here's the big question. Whether the timing or anything like that, we're really talking semantics because effectively all electric Mustangs are coming, it's just a matter of when they get here. If you replace the, what is, in my opinion, the defining characteristic of a Mustang, that V8 making a ton of horsepower, making a glorious noise, if you replace that with electric motors, should you still call it a Mustang? Is a Mustang still a Mustang without a V8? The Mustang name is one of the most iconic, legendary names in all of the automotive industry. It is not going anywhere anytime soon. You can have one of two thoughts. You can say the Mustang died when the V8 died, Side, or you can say, Mustang, I want it around, but it has to change with the times. It has to go electric because that's where the industry is going. Personally, I fall into the second category. I don't want the Mustang to die. I don't want the Mustang brand to go away just because we can't burn fossil fuels anymore. We can't have internal combustion engines. I want the Mustang to live on. I wanna be able to tell my kids the story of the Mustang and most importantly, what the Mustang represents. And that's why I'm okay with the Mustang going all electric if if it still stays true to the Mustang name. And what I mean by that is it has to be affordable performance. It cannot be a $70,000 sports car that really only the more well-to-do buyers can afford. It should meet every type of buyer. Like right now, you can get a 300 horsepower EcoBoost, 460 horsepower GT, you can get a Mach 1, and then you can get what in my opinion is the greatest Mustang ever made, the Shelby GT500. But you have to, but the electric Mustang kind of has to follow suit. It has to have that 300 horsepower option to match up with what the EcoBoost engine is now. You have to have that GT, which is around 450, 470 horsepower. Then you have to have that badass Shelby option, which is the fastest possible Mustang you can buy. All in all, will I be sad when the V8 eventually leaves us? Yes, nothing compares to a V8. The V8 is just such a versatile engine. And yes, I will be sad 
when it eventually goes. However, we shouldn't get hung up on what was and what is leaving us for the sake of what can be. Electric cars can be hugely exciting to drive, and I think an electric Mustang would be an absolutely awesome vehicle to drive. Sure, we'll miss kind of that visceral raw experience that I love so much about my Mustang, I would rather have an electric Mustang over the Mustang brand dying because it is such an iconic name. It is such a link to our automotive history going all the way back to the 60s. It's just one of those cars that should never go away regardless of what is powering it. Now here's the beautiful thing about cars. You are more than welcome to disagree with me. You may think that a Mustang without a V8 is no Mustang at all, and you are more than welcome to have that opinion. I love having car conversations with people even if they disagree with me because at the end of the day we are still talking about cars and we all love cars and we should love the conversations that go along with it. As for this video guys I just want to take a second and thank you for watching. If you liked the video hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already consider subscribing with notifications on so you get all the Shifting Lanes content as we release it. Electric Mustangs. There is absolutely no doubt that they're coming. We don't know exactly when they're coming. If you believe these reports, it's as soon as 2028. But an all-electric Mustang is coming in the not-too-distant future. Love it or hate it, I want to hear from you guys. But as for this video, that's a wrap, and I'll catch you next time.